when you're flossing braces, it's hard to put the floss in because of the wire right here is gonna prevent you from going all the way down next to the gum. The reason why you brush your teeth is you're trying to get away, you're trying to take away the plaque. You're trying to take away the plaque that builds up on your teeth on a regular daily basis. And also you want to be, be able to go ahead and brush off any food debris that's in there. So some people, when they're eating, food gets stuck in between their teeth and then there's times when you cannot remove them just by brushing. So one of the things that you have to do is be able to get in between your teeth and one of the instruments that we use is by flossing it. So what you would do is be able to go get one of these dental floss and use this at least once a day. The challenge of this is that if you're either having braces or if you have a bridge, you cannot take the floss out a certain way. When you're flossing braces, it's hard to put the floss in because of the wire right here is going to prevent you from going all the way down next to the gum. But the way that you would do that is you use a floss threader, just like if you were doing sewing, and then you go like that. So the way that the floss threader works is that this will have to be floss thread through the teeth like this. Okay, so that it goes into the teeth just like that. And then so when you go and thread this, it threads right through. And so now, see, one thing about having braces is that you can't pull this out because the wire is there. So you have to be able to go ahead and brush this way. Very hard to do because that means that you're going to have to go ahead and go right through all these braces. To be able to floss. Now, one of the one of the instruments that we use instead of doing something like this would be an, an interproximal brush like this. Now, you would not use this here because this is too big. We're going to use a interproximal brush. Now, we'll be able to brush in between. Like this. See how that looks there? Here. And then you could go in between the teeth with this also. Now, it's harder to go in the back, but most of these are going to be towards the front of the teeth where the braces are. You got an approximate brush like this. Or, like I was saying, you could use the floss or the or the faucet that we had, which is one of these floss letters, just like that. So that is the technique that we're showing our patients when we give them direction on how to floss their teeth. Be sure to subscribe and make sure you tap right here for our next video.